What's up, guys? I'm back. And I was just chugging a bunch of water. By the way, can you see this? Part of what I'm going to be talking to you guys about in my um, Facebook videos are, see, let me see if I can show you. It's not as pronounced, but that's one of the tests for those of you that think you might have hypothyroidism is, <laughs> I'm not going to give you that extreme of a close up, but if you uh, are looking in the mirror and you, you get in front of the mirror and you swallow, and ladies, you're not supposed to have an Adam's apple, but if you have any kind of um, protrudence, if that's the word, when you swallow, and then you can also see I still have that uh, line of really darkened skin that is also um, a symptom of hypothyroidism. What I have found out and what I'm going to talk about today in this video is <clears throat> the importance of blood work because when I had my most recent blood work done in um, just the early December, so about uh, a couple months ago, uh, and I'll be having it done quarterly now. And in fact, um, I made sure at Fitfluential we got a partner, um, this company we're working with, Ulta Lab Tests, because I want to be sure that we had somebody that has accessible blood work facilities all over the country, because as much as we're going to be talking about the importance of blood work, I wanted you guys to be able to um, connect with a facility that can provide blood work, and also I'm pretty sure, I'm going to link up to it, I'm pretty sure with the, these you don't actually need to have a doctor. Um, order your blood work for you because that tends to be one of the biggest problems is people understand they need blood work and they go to their doctor and their doctor's like okay and then they order like three blood tests and they're not as extensive because these doctors typically are not trained on what they need to test on for hormonal imbalance for Hashimoto's etc. The last time I had my blood work done I had um, the Hashimoto's uh, TPO antibodies um, I was tested for that and did show that I'm way positive for that. So, um, in fact, most people that have hypothyroidism are Hashimoto's, which the difference between, just so that you know, the difference between hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's hypothyroidism is, uh, hypothyroidism is, is, and these are my words, okay, I'm not a doctor, um, this is the way I describe it, um, Hypothyroidism means your, your thyroid is very sluggish. Um, you're probably gonna have things like cold hands and feet. Sometimes you lose your eyebrow hair, um, brain fog, um, weight gain, inability to lose weight. Um, that tends to be one of the, the most uh, annoying things. Also, can, you can be very, very tired. Um, more tired than your age. Um, and just, you know, overall not feeling like yourself. Um, that's hypothyroidism. Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, or Hashimoto's, excuse me, is actually autoimmune. And again, these are my words, I hope I'm articulating correctly, but it basically means that your um, immune system is, is attacking your thyroid. So it's chronic. It's like your, uh, sorry, I got a text. You know, you're, you're, un you're under attack. It's, it's almost like it's it's more serious, I, I, and again, I'm just using my own words, and as I'm saying that, I'm thinking, is that a better, the best way for me to describe it? I don't know. But anyway, we'll be meeting myself and Fitfluential, and Kevin and I on the Fitfluential Radio Podcast will be addressing a lot of issues like hypothyroidism. In fact, we've had Dr. Amy Myers on the show, we've had Elle Russ on the show. She has an amazing book. Um, and I mean, there's so many people that are addressing uh, Hashimoto's, hypothyroidism, hormonal imbalance, insulin resistance, all of these things that can affect so many of us, but they often also go undiagnosed. By the way, I'm wearing um, Valerie Waters shirt. You can't really see it. I might need to get this set up in a different place. Anyway, it's only day two of me shooting video uh, in my new house in Austin. So getting used to the acoustics, I don't have my furniture here yet, so it's very echoey and um, kind of getting used to what I need to do as far as lighting. Yes, that's Nickelback. Get over it. So anyway, um, what I wanted to talk about today, just as an introduction to a lot of the other stuff I'll be updating you guys on, is um, the importance of blood work. And that's really, it doesn't matter whether you have the symptoms of, uh, I wasn't doing a hair flip, by the way to try to be sexy. It's just <laughs> hot as hell underneath these lights and I just want 
the hair off of I don't know why I didn't just put a baseball hat on to get it off my neck. If my mom were here, she would be standing behind me going, why don't you just put this stuff off your neck? She'd do it for me. Mom. Anyway, the importance of regular blood work, first of all, the importance of comprehensive blood work for all of us, and the importance of um, regular blood work. I, I can't state it enough. My life changed, my health changed, when I finally got blood work done uh, with Dr. Riska out in Arizona, and that was in 2015. So it was about a year and a half ago. Um, and finally, I was able to see that all of these issues that I was experiencing with my body, you know, I was gaining weight, gaining weight rapidly, and yet my diet was, was I was eating the typical fitness diet, chicken and broccoli and oatmeal and protein powder and, you know, working out. And so I just kept working out harder and harder and harder, and I just was getting thick around my middle. Um, and it's funny because anybody that knows me my whole life, I've always been very curvy. I've always had boobs and butt, right? But I always had a tiny waist and a very flat stomach. In fact, I don't think I realized how flat my stomach was until I wasn't flat with the hormonal changes. But my friends used to always say, they're like, how do you have such a flat stomach? And I'm like, I don't know, it, you know, it just is. I never, I think I didn't take how flat my stomach always was most of my life as that big of a deal because to me, being as insecure as I've always been, and I'm working on that, that'll be another video. Um, I just was always looking at what was wrong with me. You know, my thighs are big, my butt's big, my boobs are too big. You know, so it didn't matter to me that I had this tiny waist and, and um, flat stomach. I certainly appreciate it now and can't wait. Uh, I'm starting to see my waist again. I'm starting to see the beginnings of a flat stomach again. And it has been a long time. I referenced in my last video that last year, 2016, was the worst year of my life. A big part of that was that there was so much stress, so much sickness. Um, I had an ear infection for six months. I ended up with a hole in my eardrum, among other things, um, that it really took a toll on my health and my hormones. My hormones just got jacked again. I, um... <coughs> Sorry. Um, that's why I ended up getting you know, the blood work that I had done in December, I had adrenal fatigue. So not only had, did I have all of the hormonal imbalance I had before, my insulin resistance got better, actually. So I think all the changes I made in my diet helped that. But the stress, the stress causing the lack of sleep, the stress causing panic attacks, the stress causing, um, you know, just uh, a fast heart rate, all these things led to adrenal fatigue, led to all my hormones getting crazy. My cortisol was just like suppressed to nothing. Um, so I'll go over all of that later. But again, what is life changing and especially health changing? And this affects your fitness people. Don't think that if you are killing it at the gym and doing a ton of cardio and a ton of working out and you think you look great, maybe you're a fitness competitor, maybe you're, um, you know, Maybe you're vegan and you're a yogi and you're just, you look amazing on the outside and you're eating things that are great, but there can be a lot of practices in your life. Antibiotics, poor sleep, stress, um, a lot of uh, lifestyle things that we talk about on the Fit Photo Radio podcast can be making a huge impact on like your health, right? What's, be what's behind the facade? And it can show up later. So it's so important to learn what what, what's going on behind the scenes in your body, right? So it's not just about what you look like, it's about what you feel like. And that's why you start to see it sad. There's been a lot of press lately about people that are just crazy healthy looking and they're dropping dead in their 40s, 40s. It's not just because um, some odd thing happened. They all have common denominators health-wise and this is why when you are getting regular blood work, you will see potentially things that you might not, they're, they're not exhibiting themselves physically, they're not manifesting themselves in, into physical symptoms yet, blood work will change everything. When you know what your blood work is and you understand it, then you can start to look at it like, I'm not a doctor, obviously, but when I get my blood work, I can look at it and go, oh my God, 
you know, because you start to understand the ranges uh, for T in the case of hormones, TSH, T3, free T3, uh, free T4, for, you know, testosterone, uh, TPO antibodies, all of this stuff. And you understand, and then you can watch yourself progress, right? Like my insulin resistance, that got better. Other things got worse, and then you can work on those, and then you can track it. Um, it really is amazing, and it's so much bigger um, and more important than calories in, calories out, how much cardio you're doing, um, you know, whether you should eat carbs or not. This is like your life, and I just want to encourage you. I'll put the link up to Ulta Lab Tests. They have a lot of packages. So, if, you know, the number one question I get is from people that will ping me on social media. Of course, I've gone over 10 minutes. Um, asking how they get started getting blood work. Um, and a lot of them will go to their doctor or endocrinologist or they'll go to a holistic healer or whatever and they, you know, those people can't write them an order for blood work. Well, that's what I like about these uh, blood work facilities. They have packages and you can get it yourself and they've cut the price down so it's reasonable enough even if you don't have insurance. And that's pretty damn cool. Now, the step that you'd want to take after you get your blood work done is connecting with the doctor that can help you say, okay, based on this blood work, Here's what we want to do. That's also my goal and our goal at Fitfluential is to be able to at least make those connections on a local level. We're working on it, but getting blood work done had started to change my life. And now that I am working with someone locally and getting more aggressive and comprehensive blood work done, I feel more better about my future than ever before. And I went to see Dr. Sebring here two weeks ago and I was in bad shape, and I will tell you guys everything. I mean, exhausted, uh, my, my, core, my, my middle, I just gotten so thick. I gained three inches on my weight, waist, excuse me, in the time that I came down here, September, October, November, three inches, and yet my diet was getting more pierced. That tells you how much when stuff is screwed up, right, and, and you're unbalanced, it's, it's like beyond your control. And you can go to the gym eight hours a day, you'll probably just make things worse. And, and that was very hard for me. I'll, I'll explain all of this in separate videos for you guys. But in two weeks since I saw my new doctor, we analyzed my new blood work and we altered what I'm doing. Um, and we've got me on some medication for my cortisol. We've got me on medication, uh, increasing doses for my hypothyroid in a week. I saw a difference and I felt a difference where I hadn't felt. I literally thought, I'm, game's over, I'm gonna have to retire, like I'm done, there's something, I'm just getting sicker. And when you're on the right track and you're addressing the right things with blood work, everything can change. And in two weeks, I go back for new blood work in a week, and then I go to see him again in another week. I'm so confident now that I will be so much better and so much more better and more progress than I had made even before because we're addressing more things. We're addressing the cortisol, we're addressing the adrenal fatigue, we're addressing the hypothyroidism uh, in a much bigger way. Um, people, what you don't know, you, do, you don't know what you don't know. And when you start to know, it changes everything. When you start to get your blood work done and understand it, it changes the way you look at everything because you realize so much of this is in your control. You might hear me talking about, hey, I, I, I have medication. So much of the changes that are happening are also because of the lifestyle changes I've made. Um, because I'm listening to my doctor, not killing myself in the gym right now, because I'm focusing on my sleep, because I cut out even things like artificial sweeteners like stevia. Um, that doesn't mean everybody has to do it, but a lot of what we're talking about can be fixed with just getting outdoors more, getting sunlight. Talk about all this, up on, I've already gone well over 10 minutes. I'm really trying to shorten my videos. <laughs> you know, I say that all the time, but I'm very passionate about this. So please, as I said in my last video, go to fitfluentialradio.com, go to Fitfluential Radio podcast as well. Um, you can link up to that from fitfluentialradio.com. Please start listening to the podcast, learn along with me. It's gonna change your life. Check out getting yourself some blood work. I'm doing it every quarter and tune into some of our Twitter chats. They're happening most nights during the week, Monday through Thursday, 8 central. We'll start launching the ones on the weekends shortly after that. So I will see you guys soon. Make sure you're drinking your water and I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully by that time I will have my, what am I trying to say? The uh, remote control. <laughs>